full generative video, cinematic, cartoons, any you wish, new in video update, V3 model, huge number of presets for prompt making, preset library, text to clip, text to title clip, even text to image, use any voice, including your own voice clone, massive number of languages just in one click, astonishing abilities, video from your prompt or script, another video or article, all in this video, let's dive deep. Go to the InVideo website. Let's log in with Google. It's the easiest way. One important step. Go to the corner with your account icon. Open the menu and click on settings. In the section workspace settings, we need to switch on the beta features. One more step. Let's set the visibility of our video. It's important to do this now so you don't have to do it every time you generate a new video. I set it to private. I'll explain the difference later. Now in your left corner, an icon called beta enabled will appear and you can use it to go to the workspace settings. Okay, now we have the ability to use all in video features. Let's start making our first generative video. Our first prompt input in the magic box will be a futuristic drama where aliens take over New York City. Let's make a short video. It will be quicker. Our prompt was analyzed and prepared. The next step is to choose our setting preferences. We could use stock footage as usual, but in this tutorial, we will use generative footage. For the visual style, let's make it realistic. It will be a futuristic drama so for the audience, let's choose sci-fi fans. And the platform will be YouTube. On the continue button is the number of points or time we will spend on this generation. Continue. Wow, pretty cool. And the voiceover is good, but I'm unhappy with the mesh on the video and the last frame. The last frame looks extremely boring. Let's remove the mesh. In the box under video, we'll write a prompt. Don't change the video and audio. Remove the mesh overlay. Now press the generate button. Good job. In the blink of an eye, everything changed. New York City never stood a chance. Good job. Let's change the last frame. Press the edit button under the video box. In the panel on the left side, we can see all media parameters and even change the audio or even generate sound effects. Let's go back. Let's change the last frame. Press the button generated media. If we already generated footage before we can use it again here, with just one click. We can replace one of the frames with footage generated from the text to clip section. I will tell you about the text to clip section later. But now, let's generate the last frame from scratch. Now we will generate one more frame. Press the empty box that says generate media. Chose duration. Let's choose the same duration as the frame we want to replace. In magic box, we need to write our prompt. For a better result, Let's use these helpful words from NVIDIA. We need to tick this box because we want to get this frame in the same style. Push the button, generate a clip. Okay, the new clip is pretty good. Choose our new clip and press it to replace the old clip. All done, let's go back. By the way, we can use the refresh button and we will get stock footage instead if that's what you want to use. We can change or correct the music, script and settings such as subtitles, transitions and more. I will explain all of this later. But before that, let's generate one more video from an already existing YouTube video. The next prompt is create a video from this YouTube video after the colon, paste the YouTube video link of the video you want to use. Push the generate button. I chose a YouTube video about the Colosseum. We will choose animation as the visual style and history buffs as the audience. Let's select YouTube as the platform. Press continue. Excellent. It turned out better than I supposed. In the heart of Rome, a titan of stone awaits. The Colosseum, built by thousands 
it has stood for two millennia. Once home to gladiators, emperors, and 50,000 roaring spectators. Next, let's try using a web page instead of a video. Paste the link to the web page. This website is about the Anunnaki conspiracy theory. Good enough. I was just unhappy with one frame, so I regenerated it just like I did in the New York video. The Anunnaki, a term from ancient Sumerian civilization, has sparked countless theories and debates. But what does it really mean? 4,000 to 5,000 years ago, Anunnaki referred to lesser gods and nature spirits, not extraterrestrial beings or reptilian overlords. So how did we get from ancient deities to alien conspiracies? Well, it all started with a few imaginative authors and their... Just imagine, we can get excellent videos just by showing in video a web link. It is amazing. The next prompts will be cartoons and YouTube shorts with subtitles. But first, for a couple of minutes, let's try the adjustment features and our abilities. One of the new features is a section called Generative Picks, where you can find examples of templates and results. It will help you to understand how to write prompts. You can choose any prompt, copy it and rewrite it. One of the most important features is the presets library. You can select subtitle presets or create your own. You can select transition presets or create your own. All presets have multiple options. Overlay presets have an extra upload overlay option. This is the text to image feature where you can generate an image from your prompt. Just to try, I used a prompt from an image on Leonardo AI. The result was pretty good. The next feature is text to clip where you can generate a clip from your prompt. You can then use this clip in your future video generations on NVIDIA. Amazing quality. The next feature is text to title clip where you can generate a clip with text written on it. However, AI is still advancing in its text generation features. So a lot of times you won't get the exact text you want. You can use any voice, including your own voice clone. Just choose from the panel or describe the voice you want to use. It is as easy as before to make a voice clone. Just press the add clone button and follow the instructions. Very easy. Upload at least 30 seconds of your voice. You can use audio or video files up to 10 megabytes each. Even phone microphones are enough to make a good quality voice clone. Don't forget to mention the compulsory phrase about giving in video permission to use your voice. I chose to say it first when the recording started so I don't forget. After that you can rename a voice clone. If you press the use button your voice will be automatically added to the magic box as a part of the prompt. Just add that prompt and get a video with your own voice. You can then change the voice, language and accent when you edit at any time. In any finished video you can change any part and regenerate the video, voice, music music, subtitles, or any scene. For anything you want to change, just use a prompt in the magic box. But now, let's look at the abilities of the edit section. Choose any finished video. Under the box with the video, press the edit button. There are four sections here. The first is media. We already explained how to change frames in the first New York video. Now let's go to the media properties section. Here you can edit the chosen frame, trim it, change the center point, zoom, or rotate the frame if you want. You can also change the transition for this frame. Audio and sound effects. You can change the volume of the background, audio and audio offset. In the sound effects section, you can, for example, find a sound effect in the library and apply it. You can generate new sound effects or download your existing ones.
You can choose the frame by clicking directly on the frame or choosing the exact text of the voiceover. The next section is music. You can upload any music or choose any music from the library. You can trim the music, change the volume and make or change fade in and out effects. Switch the toggle on to loop the music. Let's look at the next section, settings. You can choose the overlay, transitions, subtitle style presets, text presets and you can change the volume here. We will talk more about subtitles very soon when we talk about making shorts. If you want to make any audio louder or quieter you can do it here and you can add more characters. The last section is script. All the other sections are pretty obvious but for this section we need to know some extra information. In this section you can change the speaker. You can have a few speakers and choose the exact speaker for every chapter. This video is generative so we can see the generative button. Press it and it will open the box with the prompt used to generate the existing frame but there is also the possibility of adding more generative video for this scene. You just need an extra prompt or you can press the link on the bottom of the box to change to stock footage. Add a prompt for the extra frame or delete any frame. The text button opens up a box where you can add text to your video and choose the style. You can find all of the options by pressing the plus button. Now let's go to the left side. Everything in brackets are special commands or prompts explaining the frame. Only the text without brackets is spoken in the voiceover. If you right click on any chapter box on the left you can see a special menu appear. Here you have the ability to add, split, merge or delete any segment. One more button here is the gap button. This will be a silence or pause in the voiceover. Put your cursor in the place you want the gap. Right click and press add gap here. You can choose the duration by writing any number of seconds. To split a row you can put your cursor at any point of the text right click and press split and you will get two segments after that you can generate extra videos for new segments just try it it's really easy if you are not sure about your changes just press the discard changes button as you leave the edit section we also have undo and redo buttons to control our changes very useful and amazing preset sections now the interface has some buttons under the magic box create ai shorts make ai explainer create animated film use my script and workflows the plugins button opens the same menu as the button on the the left bottom corner. Workflows includes all in video AI prompts presets. All of them are similar to adjust, very natural and easy to use. Here you choose the type of video, length and social platform where you want to post the video. You can select the type of background music and language. You can then change the language with the magic box at any time. Choose your caption style, add a watermark if you need it. By the way, in this corner is a link to my video comparing different AI tools for deleting watermarks from videos. They are both free and paid. And one more option is voice actors. There is one narrator and you can add up to five other voices in one video with different options including your own voice clone. Just a few presets don't let us add multiple voices. Later we can change any of our options with just a short command in the magic box. It is very easy. I created a short film with the same scenario using the same prompt, multiple voices, comparing using generative and stock footage videos. You can watch it on my channel here. Next move. Activate global lockdown. Share Intel media preferences button. We can choose generative. If we choose only stock media, one more button will appear called media source, where we can select the stock footage source. Music preferences button. For example, one of the options is use YouTube library only. Now let's make cartoons and YouTube shorts. I decided to use the Pixar style. You can add names for your characters or just input a script or prompt and in video will name your characters. Let's use just a prompt. For my new video, I chose to use the Disney Pixar style, sci-fi melodramatic background music and a duration of one minute. I added my prompt about an alien and a girl's friendship, but the alien has to fly back to his planet. I press the continue button and we move to the magic box. Our choice is generative video. This notification says that every pixel will be generated from scratch. It's just what we want. Audience, family media, pace, normal. The platform is YouTube. Let's press continue. Well done.
Zax, goodbye. In video, named our characters Zax and Lily. The intro and outro are pretty good, including the text. There are no mistakes, so we don't need to change anything. Good job. Our next video will be a YouTube short with captions. Let's start with Mark Twain's quote about money and explain the quote. Let's use just the magic box. Paste the prompt and generate the video. Our choices are visual style, animation, duration is 30 seconds, and the platform is YouTube shorts. We got it. Good enough. Let's just change the language and the subtitles. We can change the chosen language to more than 50 different languages in just one short command. But first, let's change the subtitles. We can change the style, color, stroke, size, and location of the subtitles. We can choose subtitle preset in the settings section, or just write a short prompt in the magic box. To change the language, just write in the magic box, change language to Spanish, Chinese, Russian, Hindi, ETC. Just one more point, if you need to change the format of the video for a different platform, just write this prompt. Change the aspect ratio to landscape or portrait. For example, change the aspect ratio for YouTube short. Download or undo if needed. Let's download our video. We have three choices now. For the type of watermark, choose no watermark if you subscribe. Not for this situation, but in some situations, we need to remove watermarks from videos. In this corner, you can watch my video comparing AI tools to remove watermarks from videos and photos, both free and paid. For in video AI branding, select none. And let's choose our video resolution. My choice is 1080p. In the right corner, you have three choices for the visibility of your video. Public means everybody can see the video, but I don't want any people on in video to see my videos. Choose unlisted if you want to send somebody a link to your video. Private is my choice. We chose private as our default in settings at the beginning of this tutorial to avoid doing so every time we generate a new video. You will get 50 AI minutes extra if you use my link in the pinned comment to subscribe to in video. Subscribe to any plan and try it out. The best plan to get access to generative videos is the generative plan. Yearly subscription is 20% cheaper. The max plan is cheaper with all the same options, but you get just 60 seconds of generative credits. The generative plan is more generous. Thanks for watching. Give me a like if I gave you something useful and subscribe to get notified about my next videos. Good luck and all the best.